Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And it is Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. So that means I'm going to open up some more post magic, post magic mill day. And look at that. I've got three, four envelopes here. And um, where to start? You know what? I'm going to start with this one. This is sent to me uh, from Martin. Um, he is a Rhineland Avenger a friend of the channel, and I recently made a trade because I was looking for some Homelands cards. So he has one. So I asked him to send it to me. And I believe I sent back, correct me if I'm wrong, Martin, but I think I sent back um, some Shatters, like some 4th edition stuff. It was a nice trade. I just love doing these small little trades. Uh, ooh, look at the cool stuff. What is this? This is a coaster. Rhineland Adventures. Oh, the Dry Force Cup. That's actually a cup that's going on this weekend. The moment that I'm filming it, it is going on. I usually film these a little bit ahead before I put them on. Um, before I put them on the uh, on the channel. So this is the Dry Force Cup. Very cool. A Dusseldorf Old School Magic Championship. Then we've got a lot of sweet stickers. I can always find a place for these. Oh, he also has a sticker of the Dry Force Cup. That is pretty sweet. And let's have a look. This one. So this is the smaller version. I got a big one here in the back on my deck box. So the small one and the big one. Really, really cool. Um, so yeah, let's put that stuff over here. And then we have the card, which is the Anaba Ancestor. So this is a card from Homelands. And this is one of the final three cards that I still need. Oh, there we go. To complete my collection. So Anaba Ancestor Homelands, one red and one for a summon ghost. It's actually a ghost minotaur now. You can tap it and target minotaur gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Kind of kind of nice. You know, there was this whole minotaur theme in, uh, in Homelands. Really put minotaurs on the map, you could say. Before that, there actually weren't a lot of minotaurs in the game. So Homelands definitely opened up that uh, that pathway into Minotaur Tribal. Uh, let's see, what shall we do next? I have a bubble, let's do a bubble envelope, why not? And it's just, it's just always nice. One of the things I love about collecting magic is, is just making trades with friends, even, even when they're silly trades, I love it. Um, and also just whenever you order a card, you know, they send it to you from all over the world, basically, which is always a lot of fun. Um, let's see. We have some seller tape, but I'm managing to open it. Oh, okay, we got a we got a bill there, so I'm not gonna show that. So I guess I got this on Card Market. Let's have a look. Let's unravel it. Oh, yeah, this is something I got on card market. Now I remember this is um, actually has a card that I want to use in my uh, beta blue flyers deck. That's probably this one. So these should be Cyclopean mummies. Here we go. So a Cyclopean mummy. First off, the art is just fantastic. Um, this card is one black and one for a 2-1 creature, a summon mummy, but uh, the creature type has been updated to zombie. So I can use these in my zombie deck. Um, I used to play a lot with my uh, revised zombie deck, but I'm thinking about making an upgraded version uh, with cards from other old school sets as well. So not just keeping it purely revised, but adding the four horsemen sets. And I think that this card is actually a really good two drop in a zombie deck, you know, because it's a two one. And uh, yes, when it's the funny thing is when it, when it dies, it's removed from the graveyard, which is kind of sad because I love playing with like creature recursion in a zombie deck. I think it's very uh, uh, thematic, right? That the zombie comes back, but unfortunately, I cannot do it with this Cyclopean Mummy. I can, of course, give it regenerate through a zombie master, which makes it a little bit more difficult to kill for my opponent. But yeah, I think this card is actually pretty solid in old school in an old school zombie deck. You know, compared to, you know compared to modern standards, it's incredibly you know weak. But ooh, all the cards are falling here. But um. It's good, you know, it's good in old school, old school zombie deck, it's good. And then we have the other card in the pack. This one I'm really happy with. 
It is an unsummon. Maybe some of you remember that mail day where I got an alpha unsummon and I thought it was a beta. Now this really is a beta. And uh, the best way to check it, I guess, is by looking at the text. So this one has the beta text. It doesn't have the mistake on it that the alpha version has. So unsummon, pretty cool card. One blue, an instant, and you can return any creature to its owner's hand. And what I love about that is uh, you can use this card two ways. So you can use it to protect your own creature, almost like a counterspell, or you can use it to protect yourself from a creature attacking you. Or of course, when you want your opponent to lose a blocker to maybe deal final damage, which could be the case, especially when you're playing uh, mono blue suicide aggro. You know, in those decks, I think Unsummon really shines. Anyway, Unsummon, great card. And uh, for me in beta blue, it's very important because my deck goes very slow. So I want to use Unsummon to basically buy me time. So we've got two envelopes left. This one is sent to me from the States uh, by Andy, aka Steam Floggery. Uh, he's a friend of the channel. I'm going to open this one last. I think I'm gonna start with this. this. This feels a little bit thick. I think if I'm not mistaken that this one has some Often Trolls in it because uh, the Often Troll Cup is coming up. Yeah, it's empty, the Often Troll Cup is coming up and I ordered some Often Trolls. Yeah, there we go. Very cool. Because, and I believe Ron, the organizer of the Often Troll Cup does this every year where you can uh, use your often trolls as lottery tickets and you can win some pretty cool prices. So I had to order a card that's in here anyway. And then I saw, hey, wait a minute, this person has often trolls. Let's just order them. So these are some fourth edition often trolls. One, two, three, and this is number four. So a whole play set. And this is a card I actually wanted to order. And you may think, why a fire elemental? I recently went through my 4th edition collection binder and I found out I made a mistake in the sorting and I didn't actually have a Fire Elemental 4th edition. So, yeah, I was like, what? So I, I went on Card Market and tried to find a seller closest to Amsterdam, the Netherlands, and see, does this person have a Fire Elemental in a, you know, near mint X condition? And then that's how I found this Fire Elemental and then it turned out that this person also had eight often trolls, including these cool time spiral often trolls. I do like the, the black border here on these ones and they're in really good condition. Maybe I'm just gonna keep them. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, four of these as well. And then let's have a closer look at our fire elemental. I really love the art of fire elemental. Absolutely beautiful. And this one is in really good condition as well. It's really nice. Sweet, so this is actually completing my fourth edition set, which is nice. So I have a new card for my Homeland set. I've got a new card for my fourth edition set. I got a card for my beta blue blue deck. I got a card for my zombie deck. This is turning out to be a really good mail day. Um, and then of course we have our last card. I guess it's one card, I think. So Andy, I have no idea what you what you send my way. This card is coming all the way from uh, from the States. It could be a tournament card. I know you guys tend to send each other tournament cards. And look, it looks like we've got a letter in here as well. Yeah, okay, nice. Hi Thomas, happy Halloween. This is my favorite time of year. So I'm sending out some altars to celebrate the season. Have a great October, enjoy. Nice man, headstone and cemetery gate. That is sweet. That is so sweet. I love that, Andy. I really appreciate it. He's just hes just a fun guy. He loves making altars, sending stuff out to everybody. And uh, look at this. So maybe let's first have a look. Cemetery Gate with the pumpkin. One black and two for a protection from black. O5 Cemetery Gate, right? A wall. Very cool. And then we've got the headstone. One black and one for an instant. Remove from the game, target card in any graveyard. Draw a card at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep. Now, believe it or not, but I think this card actually is pretty useful. Unfortunately, we don't play with Homelands, or maybe fortunately, but anyway, we don't play with Homelands in a lot of old school formats. But, you know, you do see that Animate Dead is kind of a popular card in some of the decks. Think of the Robots decks, for example. And then this Headstone would just be a great answer 
to an uh, to an anime dead, right? Because you can target that creature in the graveyard and just remove it from the game. And the nice thing is the headstone, it replaces itself, right? It's one of those cantrips. So you draw a card at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep, which is actually makes it kind of good. If it didn't have this line here, it would be just a bad card. But because of this line, I think this card would actually be playable in your regular old school formats in the sideboard, of course, not main board. But um, yeah, pretty interesting. It also could be nice if you play like an All Hallows Eve deck and if you don't want your opponent to get any creatures back. Anyway, there are a few uh, ways of using this card, but like I said, Homelands doesn't see a lot of play because it's not allowed in uh, most of the old school formats. Of course, I have been thinking about organizing a Homelands only tournament because why not? It's going to be fun. Um, if you think that's a good idea, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you because then I've got some more arguments to tell people. You see, people want, the viewers want a Homelands tournament. So I've got to give them a Homelands tournament. <laughs> so anyway, let me know in the comments below if you're a Homelands fan. Uh, for now, thank you very much for watching and see you and next time. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Think it is somber, can